Hey guys, welcome to Re3D. We're going to show you what's new on Gigabot in 2020. So we've got some really exciting changes happening. My name is Matthew and I'm Chief Hacker at Re3D and I want to show you some of the updates that we've got in store for you in 2020. So first of all, I want to look at the bedside plate here. This is an important part for keeping the bed steady. And right now we have three V-Groove wheels that hold it along the rail as it travels up and down. And what we've done on the new machine I'll show you is we've added some more stability. So this is crucial for getting that stable platform here. We don't want to have to adjust the bed every time you print. So this adds even more rigidity to your machine for printing. In addition to that, we made the Z-axis even more powerful. So by adding a larger motor on each side, so we're adding about 30% more power to that bed can actually lift about 150 pounds. I tested it with myself even, so don't try that at home, but we're absolutely upgrading the Z-axis on your bed. In addition to that, we're moving to a new nut that travels along that lead screw. We have a Delron nut that is uh, machined, that is a more stable, and it also allows you to have a better travel on the Z-axis. So we're super excited about some of these updates for your bed and for your Gigabot. So check us out at re3d.org. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm a drafter at Re3D. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the updates that we've made to the XY upright. So the old XY upright design placed the limit switch wires close to the motor for the X axis. So our new update has moved the limit switch wires to the outside of this XY upright to protect the wires during high temperature prints so that it doesn't cause any problems. Hi, I'm Helen Little. I'm a mechanical engineer here at Re3D. And uh, one of our updates for this past quarter was the new motor driver for the GBX extruder motor. Um, with the new motor driver, we are able to use the updated software that comes with it, which allows us to put it in full step mode. And the main benefit of that is that we're not sending as many signals to the motor, and that means that we can print faster and with more torque. 